Okay, guys. I forgot. I had not mentioned this. Maybe I did mention it. I can't remember. Um, when they attack you um, and your Kundalini is activated, you, well, when your Kundalini is activated, you usually rest in your temple right across from your pineal gland. And um, so what the enemy does, they come and yank it out of that position and invert it downward, you understand? So we'll be facing down and they usually um, in your right leg. Okay, so if you feel something is like grabbing your right leg on when you're doing prayers and stuff like that, this is your Kundalini, inverted. Call on Goddess Hathor, Sekhmet, and um, I mentioned a few names just in my previous video to uninvert it and descend it. From your right leg or whatever leg they use I'm not sure but usually the right leg because this Kundalini it goes through the energy point the seven energy points they're intertwines into each other all the way to the heavens to your penny gland you need to uninvert it and when you do that you be able to unify the three pillars. The three pillars governing our creation and energies. So you need to unify them, but you need to uninv you need to uninvert this Kundalini serpent. So instead of the head facing down into your leg, around your leg, your right leg facing the ground. You need to have it going up into the heavens, into your pine gland, okay? I thought about this and I just want to kind of share with you. Sorry guys, I'm whispering because um, everybody's sleeping in my house.